Muy buenas chicos, ¿cómo están? Sean bienvenidos. Estoy grabando un videito chicos del de especial programa de la 4.3, ya que no pude estar. Acabo de llegar temprano por cuestiones bueno, de trabajo. Voy a poder estar un poquito más con ustedes en este rato de la mañana. Y pues bueno, vamos a darle a ver de esos 39 minutazos del de programa de Genshin. Vamos a ver qué nos trae eh, ahorita Genshin. Vamos a ver la 4.3. Ya sabemos algunas cositas, pero vamos a verlo completo. Venga. Okay, everyone. I assume that you know why we're here, right? I've checked the perimeter. The coast is all clear. All right. Then it's time. Time to shop for the latest fashions at Chioria Boutique. Huh. Uh, don't you think something sounds a little off about that line? Yeah, this is Chioria Boutique that we're talking about. I feel like we need something that sounds I, I don't know, a little more extravagant, maybe? Mm. Uh, we'll have yeah. to talk about it later. The lights have been turned on and the audience is already here. The program is starting. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the Genshin Impact Los version 4.3 special program. Yay! <laughs> hey. As you can see, our show is sponsored by Chioria Boutique, one of the leading fashion houses in Fontaine. But before we go any further, let's take a moment to watch the version 4.3 trailer. Camera operator, that can be a pretty technical job. Are you really up to it? Hola, guapa. Amor, mi vida, mi cielo, ¿dónde estuviste toda mi vida? Tú no, bácala. Ok, los chones de... Wait, you de put labia. no thought into finding a good camera angle. And the characters weren't in the shots. Ahem, positions, everyone. <laughs> nice to meet you. I am Navia, the president, leader, commander-in-chief, executive director, and boss of Spinazzi Rosula. Hey there! Toma! Ya hablo los cañonones. <risa> Adiós, Hilichu. Me fascinan los lentes. Cameras will start rolling as Cristo soon as the set is ready. Oh, Marina's really kicking Ahora things into gear as the director. Prompts and lighting set the scene. <risa> Actors can pues continue si with extras, go over your como... positions. Camera ready, get the oh, clock board. Actors to your position. Lights, Javier. camera, action. Oh, que salía Chori, ¿eh? Nos presentaron a Chori. <laughs> You're just as naive as her. Did you really think two muskets would be enough to defeat me? Your crimes are evident. Chavarrius. Drop your weapon. Not bad. The actor's emotions were all on point. Let's keep that take. We'll move on to the next scene. Uh, you mean? Did you really think you'd get away? Chevres. You can keep your mora, and you can go to hell. No, it's a de Milla. That was beyond mesmerizing. Let's make a film that'll make some serious waves in Fontaine. Ah, uh, not the kind of waves that count. No, 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 I mean, no, no, no. the good kind of waves. Uh huh. Ajá, seguramente. Bye. Okay, ahí está el código, chicos. Chris, pon los códigos en el en el chat, porfa, fijado. Si puedes. Bueno, vamos a quitar esto porque no tiene caso que lo veamos. Buddy, I'm Brenna Larson. The... Que lo quiera ver, bueno ya. Pongo los códigos abajo. Welcome back to the version 4.3 special program, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of Lumine, and today I'm joined by. Hey everybody, I'm Brenna Larson, the voice of Navia, president Cristo of the Spina di Rosula, and I'm Dice, Erica Lindbeck, the voice of Shabras. Okay, so actually, um, we have a tradition on the program where we all get to sing everyone a little song. Oh. Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, nice try. I've seen the special programs before. You don't oh. want to sing a song? You can sing a, like, a I little love song singing. about Listen. Genshin. I know. <laughs> yeah. 
Attention, impact, no, okay. Uh, back to business, back to business. <laughs> Cristobal Gamer. Okay, like we mentioned before, Dice, this program is sponsored es by que si no el bat va a joder el video So XD. while we're sharing content for okay. 4.3, I also wanted to get some inspiration for shooting commercials for the boutique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't want to let our client down. Yeah, and, and speaking of new content, we can't have a new version without introducing some new characters. As you already saw in the trailer, Navia and Shavros will be our new playable characters. Yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm sure many of our viewers are already familiar with Navia after seeing her throughout Fontaine's Our Conquest. But who is Shavros? Mm, who indeed? Esa sale, avisa en el... <laughs> Other Fontaine en el nuevo evento que está ahorita, en el evento que está ahorita, ahí te mencionan a Chavarrius. But um, Shavros will finally be making an official appearance in version 4. Yo pensé que per pertenecía oh, a la... A la cárcel, oh, pero no. Es de la gendarmia. Es la líder de los gendarmes. Actually, a really natural sounding product placement for Chioria Boutique. You're art, you're amazing at this. <laughs> I know, I know it sounds like product placement, but Chiori really was the designer of the Navia's outfit. Dice. Um, next, Ahora la Furina se volvió una directora show. de verdad al parecer. Ooh, by fashion sí. show, we mean her character showcase. I always say that blind optimism isn't the answer. If you want a bright future, you have to go out and seize it with your own two hands. This one's got your name on it! Proper send-up from the speed of with love. I'm sorry, can we take a moment to appreciate how perfectly Chiori customized Navia's clothes and accessories to reflect her personality? She clearly pays a lot of attention to the small details. <laughs> Erica, I love how seriously you're taking the sponsorship. It's really great. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> um, while we're on this topic, though, Navia's parasol seems pretty interesting. On the outside, it looks like a delicate accessory used to block out the sun, but on the inside, there's actually a secret firearm that can be used to ward off enemies at a moment's notice. It's elegant and fierce all at once. Just like Navia herself. <laughs> exactly. Even when it comes to her enemies, Navia is not the type to eschew basic etiquette, so she prefers to maintain appropriate distance while in combat. While using her elemental skill, Navia opens her gunbrella and fires multiple Rosula shard shots that can pass through opponents, dealing geo damage upon a successful strike. Ooh. For a period of time after using her elemental skill, Navia's normal, charged, and plunging attacks will deal increased damage and become infused with the power of geo, which cannot be overridden. Now, when Navia is in combat, there are these little markings around her that look like bullets. I wonder if that's some sort of ammo for the Gunbrella? Oh yeah, yes, you guessed it. When a character in the party obtains an elemental shard created from the crystallized reaction, Navia will gain crystal shrapnel charges. Navia will consume these charges after unleashing her elemental skill. Her skill damage increases with the number of charges that she's accumulated. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you're saying that Navia's elemental skill becomes more powerful if she works together with mm -hmm. other characters in the party to trigger the crystallized reaction. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Navia's elemental verse calls forth the Rosula Dorata Salute, which unleashes a massive bombardment on opponents in front of her, periodically dealing geo elemental damage. I should also mention, that Navia will accumulate crystal shrapnel charges at certain intervals if she strikes enemies with the Rosula Dorada Salute. Ooh, now that salute is spectacular. <laughs> That's awesome. I heard that the Spina di Rosula likes to perform firearm salutes before important negotiations. You know, as a way to celebrate future success. And don't misunderstand, you guys. It's not an intimidation tactic at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's just the Spina's way of showing respect in their own way. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. <laughs> Not intimidating at all. No. <laughs> As the president of the Spina di Rosula, Navia is always trying to collect the latest intel by exploring all corners of Fontaine. When Navia is dispatched on a 20-hour expedition in Fontaine, rewards gained will be increased. Okay, so we just mentioned that Navia is the president of the Spina di Rosula. 
So I think we should bring up Spina's contributions to averting Fontaine's prophesized crisis. Hmm. I mean, it was all thanks to Navia's leadership. Exactly. Some people even lost their lives during that disaster. Mm -hmm. I'm certain that those events weighed heavily on Navia, but she remained tough and committed to leading the Spina. Yeah. Yeah, and while we're on the topic of Fontaine's crisis, though the prophesized dangers are over, the town is probably still busy rebuilding Cristo everything, Valgamer. right? Mm -hmm. I bet Navia is going to be occupied with that for a Como long es una time. Oh, definitely. Un de Arconte. That's something that travelers will be able to see for themselves. No, Navia's story quest. quest, the Rosa Multiflora chapter, will become available in version 4.3. The chapter one, o sea, will be working la, diligently ella, to más. rebuild Poisson. Though repairing the houses will be straightforward, the emotional distress may be much more difficult to address. If you're curious about how Navia and her crew are going to proceed, then be sure to check it out. Oh, I'm so excited! Yeah, yeah, me I'm too. looking forward to seeing what happens. <laughs> okay, so now that we introduced Navia, it's time for Chevrus to be in the spotlight! <laughs> Okay, I know that since she's a newcomer, you probably can't wait to learn more about her. So let's get right into it. Okay, um, hmm. How should I introduce her? Uh, first off, Chevres is the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. It's a Fontanian organization that handles all sorts of difficult cases and dangerous criminals. Ooh. <laughs> she doesn't like to appear in public without good cause, mm -hmm. so if you happen to run into her, it's likely that you're in some sort of trouble. But, oh. but as long as you're a law-abiding citizen, there's no need to worry. <laughs> Chevres <laughs> is actually really easy to get along with outside of work. Mm. Oh, Fistos are just the best snack. They're easy to carry with you and go with so many sauces. Final warning! Hands where I can see them! ¿Te diste cuenta? Ya crees que casi todos los personajes últimamente están usando armas. Como segunda opción. idol animation. I love that she loves snacks. That is so awesome. She's a girl's girl, and she gets it. She gets it. She really does. Como que tuvieron en algún momento la idea de que usaran armas, pero no quisieron cambiar este. I guess that's La arma principal. true. I mean, Chevres' work as a captain can be really stressful. I mean, I can't blame the girl for indulging every once in a while to relieve some stress. She even adjusts her training regimen to make up for her snacking habits. In fact, she trains more than any other member of the Special Patrol. Her platoon really admires her for that. Wow, okay, she's got some willpower. That is awesome. She's really admirable. The Special Patrol prioritizes combat ability above all else, so the organization often attracts some eccentric personalities. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> the Special Patrol used to have problems with insubordination, but ever since Chevres took control, everyone has fallen into line, which does not surprise me at all. <laughs> she commands respect among her peers, and she's a formidable fighter, and she leads by example. Though she demands excellence from her platoon, she holds herself to even higher standards. She always tries to be an example for others to follow, whether it's investigating cases or in marksmanship practice. And it looks like a lot of her skills involve using a musket. She must be a pretty good shot. Mm-hmm, for sure. Chevres and her musket are basically partners in crime. They're inseparable. She definitely knows her way around a firearm. Chevres uses her musket to fire at opponents during her elemental skill. Ooh. For a period of time after unleashing her elemental skill, Chevres will continuously restore HP to the active character on the field. During her elemental burst, Chevres fires an explosive grenade with her musket, which will split into secondary explosive shells upon impact. Haha, <laughs> impact. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wait, I noticed that Chevres has bullet-like markings around her during combat. Can she shoot a special type of ammo? That's right. Chevres obtains an overcharged ball when a nearby party member triggers the overloaded reaction. Holding Chevres's elemental skill will consume this special ammo to unleash an even more powerful pyro attack that covers a larger AoE. This attack will also grant an attack buff to all pyro and electro characters in the party. Mm. Okay, so that's where the name Overcharged Ball comes from. Uh-huh. Chevres actually came up with the name herself. Oh. She was reading a novel where the protagonist believed that names held a lot of power. If you give something a cool-sounding name, then you've given yourself an advantage over your enemies. That kind of logic resonated with her, I guess. 
Oh, well, I guess she has a point. Oh, I should also mention what happens if Shavras is paired with all Pyro and Electro characters. If your party contains at least one character of either type, then triggering the overloaded reaction will cause an opponent's Pyro and Electro resistances to decrease. Okay, so it seems like Shavras could really shine in an overload team. Así call, es. But I also did notice that Shavras isn't solely limited to a musket. Mm -hmm. She also uses a pole arm in combat. <laughs> okay, honestly, if I were a criminal, I feel like I'd be pretty nervous if she came after me. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Most people who have something to hide avoid her like their lives depend on it. And maybe it does. Oh. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, that's why Chevres trains so hard. She has to be able to catch a wide variety of cunning criminals who try to evade her at all costs. So when Chevres is in your party, stamina consumption from sprinting is decreased. Oh, ah, excelente, otro para that. correr. These two new characters are great. Both of them would be great leads in our commercial. I don't know, it's so hard to choose. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I will make this even harder for you. Oh no. We're about to take a look at what event wishes that travelers can look forward to in version 4.3. The candidate pool for the lead role of our commercial is about to get even bigger. Oh, oh my no. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> in the first half of version 4.3, travelers can look Oño, forward to the la... Navia and Ayaka. Nos cambiaron a Raiden o venía Raiden en el primero segundo. In the second half of version 4.3, we'll have returning No, pues ahora ya lo pusieron más difícil, ¿no? And Yoimiya. Por cita Yoimiya. We'll also receive a huge drop. Ay, va a venir puta madre, se va arriba a venir la segunda, no va a venir la primera. No me joda. We can also look forward to two new artifact sets in version 4. Shogun version 4.3 No me joda, bro. Va a venir en la segunda, qué cabrones, bro. Will also be featured in the weapon event wish. In the second half of version 4.3. Bueno, tiro yo y mía, no pasa nada. Returning event wishes from the Raiden Shogun and Yoimiya. During this time, Chevrus will also receive a huge drop rate boost. Yay. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. That's awesome. Travelers can also bueno, look forward to two new artifacts in version 4.3. Songs of days past and nighttime whispers in the Echoing Woods. Be sure to keep an eye on future arbol. announcements to learn more mm. about them. This seems like the perfect time for our first break. We've shared a ton of information so far, and I bet travelers could use some time to digest it all. You're right. For <laughs> Definitely. Sure. Let's take a break while we take a look at the second group of redemption codes. The version 4.3 special program is brought to you by Chioria Boutique, and we'll return shortly. Vale, vamos para acá. Que sigue rapidito. Commercial. But the content of the commercial is also important, right? Do you have any ideas? Vale, una arma nueva. Mm -hmm. If we're making a commercial for Chiorio Boutique, then how about we include some event footage of Chiori? Oh, <gasps> yay! Chiori is actually going to appear in the event for version 4.3. What? Mm. While the travelers have been able to see her store in the Court of Fontaine, we'll finally get to meet her in person. Yes, I know. Travelers can also look forward to meeting Ayaka and Ayato in Fontaine. Chiori suggested that they should stop by, so here they are. So cool! Hey, this is actually the perfect time for a word from our sponsor. An Inazuma-born fashion icon, Chiori! Chioria Boutique is your one-stop shop for the latest and most influential fashion in Fontaine. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. Chiori is acquainted with the Kamisato siblings because she's also from Inazuma. She actually introduced Ayaka and Ayato to Xavier and recommended that they make the trip to Fontaine for the Fontanalia Film Festival. So exciting! Will you tell us more about the Fontanalia Film Festival? Oh, the Fontanalia Festival was established to commemorate the legendary Loch Knights. According to the myths, they went on a quest to search for the Oceanids and eventually welcomed the Hydro Archon Egeria to Fontaine. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most important festivals in Fontaine, like what the Windbloom Festival is to Mondstadt and Lantern Rite is to Liyue. Ah, so exciting! Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Fontaine Film Association proposed the Fontanalia Film Festival earlier this year. And during this time, the public may submit films for evaluation. The entry with the highest score will be given the Farina Award by the association. Well, we can see Farina working with Ayaka and the others here. So wait, 
Does this mean that there's a chance that Farina might win the Farina Award? <gasps> okay, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to leave you in suspense. If travelers are curious about what Ayaka and the others are doing in Fontaine, or how Farina fared, you'll just have to play the event when the new version becomes available. Hmm. So we know that several friends from Inazuma will be in Fontaine for the Fontanalia Film Festival, but travelers have so much more to be excited about. Travelers will also have the opportunity to participate in a variety of activity booths during the festival. Each one will have a different theme. Ooh. <laughs> ah, so cool. The first activity booth is the Thousand Pace Interdiction Arc Minute Sharpshooting Zone. In this activity, travelers will use the special security and surveillance patrol simulation device to practice targeting and shooting opponents. Yep. Ooh. The special patrol wanted the public to experience how fun target practice can be. <laughs> and the second activity booth is called Trick Shots Tricky Lights. In this activity, travelers will use the studio's special lighting effects to film a fight scene. Take advantage of the buffs brought about by the special lighting effects to defeat an endless stream of opponents and obtain a higher score. So cool. Those special lighting effects are really giving off old movie vibes. Navia's mm. movements are also super vale, smooth. Typical pe it's evento de pelea, so atmospheric. ¿no? Oh, for yeah. sure. But not everyone is enjoying the fun and games. Travelers will meet a contract employee at the third activity booth. She needs some help with her demanding client. During the activity Extreme Drive, travelers will help her test out stabilization mecha balls. Look at how the traveler chases after those stabilization <laughs> mecha balls. Okay, I bet that contract employee can relate since she's being chased down by that client. <laughs> totally. Stabilization mecha balls seem pretty ordinary, but they're actually very agile. They'll automatically avoid all testers by moving in the opposite direction of your movement. You can find jump boosters around the testing grounds. Travelers can use them to jump higher and further, which is perfect for quickly traversing to the other side of a stabilization mecha ball. Travelers oh, you can play with three. Have to find a way to herd as many stabilization mecha balls into their target area as possible within the time limit. The more mecha balls that end up in your area, the more points you'll earn. Venga, para jugar con Cristóbal y con Confadel. In this activity, travelers will get to shoot their own scenes by experimenting with different camera positions and narration techniques. Cool! We get to make a movie! That's yeah. awesome! <laughs> travelers might remember helping out Xavier with some filmmaking back in Inazuma, but this seems more professional. Wait, maybe this can be the inspiration for our commercial. Oh. Now that I think about it, a Fontanian man went to Inazuma to shoot a film. I guess international travel can be a source of artistic inspiration. That must have also been true in Chiori's case, since she opened Chioria's boutique in Fontaine. Ooh, that could be a strong theme for our commercial. Actually, yes, Ayaka and Ayato aren't the only Inazumans traveling abroad in version 4.3. Kuki Shinobu just arrived in Liyue for her class reunion. Yeah, and Ito decided to tag along as the boss of the Arataki gang. And he brought his Onikabuto with him. I think he played yeah, the cara in the battle. Wow. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Cara blazing armor beetle battle boot camp. <laughs> that name is Nikanen. definitely very easy. Buenas, <laughs> Laikan. Sure. There was also a beetle battle event in version 3.4, right? Señor Rene beetle Rene. battles against a super powerful ti. beetle battler. I believe his name was. Puta, lo mejor de todos los eventos de, de Ito es que es la personalidad de Ito, güey. Siempre armando de madre y medio. Es más, hasta yo me emocioné cuando dijeron Ito, ¡eh! It seems like the two of them have met a mysterious new beetle battle master. Oh. Who is it? Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. I'm sorry. I can't give that away. Travelers will have to discover their identity during the event. No hay versión de de Genshin para la Switch. Y todo el carrera de eventos. Travelers can also look forward to new ways to battle. Solamente es. O sea, puedes continuar la historia en uno o el otro. Travelers can now also use guard to defend against electromagnetic. Dice. Sí. Sí, porque la Epic se conecta con la cuenta de Epic, pero entras con la cuenta de Genshin. Master them, and you'll be ready to tackle the ultimate trial of the strong. cuenta que el, el la Epic Tour nada más es el, el launcher, por así decirlo. No es el de juego. Encountering an old friend in the Fontanian countryside. Tengo entendido que sí se puede, Laika. Old man came to Fontaine, and he brought his treasure map and treasure-seeking Celia along with him. Para ver los elites. Yay! 
O sea, puedo jugar en PC y luego seguir jugando la historia en mi tablet. Sí. Cristóbal Gamer. By absorbing energy from the locations that are marked on Ullman's treasure map. In return, the Seely will guide us to the locations of buried treasure. After collecting ancient iron coins during this event, you can exchange them for various rewards, including a mini Seely in your preferred color. La verdad no sé de Cuba, pero últimamente quisiera probarlo. Me puedes dar una intro de Cuba, el juego vital. Básicamente, Laikan es es una historia de RPG, ¿vale? La diferencia es que aquí hay varios personajes. Aguantales a que estoy grabando. Grabación. A new mini Seely named Brilliance will be available. Esto que estoy viendo es una actualización, ¿vale? This new mini Seely can travel underwater. Amazing. Yeah. Treasure isn't the only thing that you'll discover in the country side. Esta es la última región donde estamos ahorita actualmente. We also come across a mysterious domain guarded by a unique soul master. Y cada mes y medio te dan una actualización y te dan recompensa. During the dance of resolute will, travelers will get the chance to participate in the challenge. Ahí de hecho en el chat pusieron, no sé si ya lo quitó Cristóbal. Each challenge stage will contain two rounds. Cristóbal, creo que se quitaron los códigos. Travelers must select their party compositions before the challenge starts. One of your chosen characters must be used in both rounds, but no other character can be repeated. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. For those who have any doubts, Navia. After you complete the Blade Dance objective during the challenge, you will obtain a heightened version of Brilliance. 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 Brilliance.
De nada. No creo. Dice, vi que reaccionaste a unos videos míos, espero que te hayan gustado tres. Ah, gracias, Vena. No, 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 cómo no, hermano, sí me gustaron. De hecho, me preguntaron por tu canal y lo puse ahí en el chat. Gracias, Vena, por, por todo ese contenido que haces, hermanito. De 10 de 10 tu contenido, eh. Me gustó mucho. Chicos, Venas, el otro día no me pasaron un trailer de él, chicos. Bienvenido, Venas, al canal. De hecho, ya le di. Creo que le di seguir a tu, a tu canal. De hecho, vi, un, vi uno de Fontaine que subiste hace poquito. Y, y, y también está interesante. Bueno, necesitas saber algo de juego, venas. Yo sé que también lo juegas, pero por ejemplo, si no has avanzado en historia, con mucho gusto nos puedes venir a preguntar. Nosotros casi siempre estamos al, al margen de lo, de lo último. Y por lo general siempre exploro todo el mapa. Así que si algo no has explorado y tienes dudas y lo sabemos, te lo contamos aquí. Que te sirve de apoyo como material de, de tu video. Esto fue lo que subí en el video anterior, chicos. Esto me pareció, este último me pareció interesante, el de los artefactos, pero siento que va a motivar a que la gente pida más resina. A ese lo he visto también de hecho. Este va a motivar a que la gente pida más resina, estoy seguro. Porque de por sí se la acababan rápido. Ahora se la van a acabar mucho más rápido. En adición, la versión 4.3 ha hecho más fácil para aclarar tu quest backlog. Archon Quest Chapter 2 Act 4, In the Depths and Unexpected Reunion, takes place in the underground mines of the Chasm. In the past, travelers had to complete the world quests, Chasm Spelunkers, and the Heavenly Stones Debris before being able to proceed to the Archon Quest. In this update, travelers Venas. no longer need to complete those Dice. two world quests. Mm. Gracias, Instead, Ajax. También me ilusiona ver tus reacciones. ¿Sabes dónde puedo verlos? En eh, el mismo canal. Como pone eh, buscar videos como video reacciones. Así, mira, dame un segundo. Pongo pausa aquí, chicos. Para enseñarle a Ben grabando aquí. Oh, es increíble. So cool. So that'll make it significantly easier for new or lapsed players to access the Archon Quest and claim those sweet, sweet intertwined fates as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. For sure. Also, one-click expeditions will be available. Esto sí me gustó. Esa mejor así me gustó. Y ya la van a clic a uno y ya vuelven a repetir lo mismo. No tienes que ir uno por uno por cada región. A ese no lo habían mostrado. Oh, sweet. That's going to make it easier to collect rewards from Catherine. Definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's also a ton of other quality of life improvements in this update. For example, Pero se entendía que era eso, se have been made to enemy tracking with the adventure handbook and character selection logic during crafting and forging. In addition, when performing mystic offerings, travelers Venas. will now be able to Dice. add artifacts in batches. Ah, pues sí, eso ayudará. Gracias y te deseo un buen día. Saludos, so tres. Igualmente, Vena, muchísimas gracias por venir, hermanito. Okay. Dice. Un fuerte abrazo y un saludo. Yo lo leí en las notas del pago. Gracias por tu, por tu apoyo, hermano, y por tus videos. Sigue sacándolo. Y lo que necesites, con mucho gusto, por aquí estamos para platicar o trabajar en algo. Sale, venga. Cristo Valgamer. Dice. Tres años para agregar un simple botón de recopilación. Ya sé, Cristo Valgamer. Y ahora <laughs> I heard this year's concert is going to celebrate Genshin's classic melodies in an entirely new way. Let's take a sneak peek at some of the amazing moments that this concert has in store. Ah, bueno, te ponen la puerta. Uh. 
Pucha, las primeras canciones que escuchábamos en Engine, ¿no? Me da nostalgia, ¿no? Me gana la pinche nostalgia, ¿no? Cuando éramos inocentes y no sabíamos quiénes eran los no sabían, no sabíamos quiénes eran quiénes, ¿no? Que veíamos por primera vez Genshin y decíamos, ¡Oh, Genshin! Ahora pregúntale eso diez, este, tres años después a un, a un creador no, viejo Michael. de contenido. Gracias por salvar ¡Vamos, Norman! Norman Cano! Norman Cano! Norman Cano! Norman Cano! Norman Cano! Norman Cano! Bienvenido a mi garroba pájaro a mi árbol. Cristóbal Gamer. Dice. Y no sabíamos que tan maldito es mi hoyo XD. Sí, la verdad. Norman creíamos en él. Unas buenas. Marlene. Dice. Wow. Ja, 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 ja. So we have two Dice. 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 Hola Black Ah no, el héroe oscuro es Dilo, coño. Es el señor de la noche. Stellar Moments Volume 4. The album will feature 26 character songs created by the Hoyo Mix team. Wait, we're finally MR getting Pandao. all hate them and wanders Dice. OSTs. Oh my yeah, God, and Farina's Arma. song too. Her song Norman All the Cannon. World's a Stage has already Dice. been getting a ton of love. Hola Panda, oh, a tiempo, awesome. no he visto nada. No, ya va terminando, pero queda grabado, Norman, tranqui. Ya lo dejo grabado y lo subo ahorita. Los códigos ahí están arriba, Norman, cámbialos de una vez. Chicos, los códigos, ahí está, los puso Cristóbal, cámbienlos de una vez rápido. Porque acuérdense que se desactivan, ¿eh? Ok, Pilas. Well, that's all the new information we have to share about the update. So, I guess that means it's time for the version 4.3 special program to come to a close. Aww. 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 <laughs> But we haven't even come up with a plan for our Chiorio Boutique commercial. Actually, we've already finished shooting it. You're right. What? The special program was a pretty good commercial. I'm certainly not going to forget the name Chioria Boutique after this. No, my <laughs> totally. Oh Dice. my gosh, we really did cover Black a lot of los premios sí, sí, sí. For sure. The most Pandao. important part is our final Dice. word from our sponsor, Chioria si Boutique. Si <laughs> <canjear laughs> <Just automáticamente kidding. laughs> Oh, eso no, no me lo sabía. Luego me explicas, Panda. Dice. I'm so excited to be a Solo part vi un rato. Impact, and I cannot wait for all of you to meet Shabras. Uh, totally. Mm -hmm, I feel mm -hmm. exactly the same. Can't wait to see more Navia and her fighting action. And <laughs> yeah. also, can't wait for little swimming sealies. Yes. They are so cute. So oh cute. My goodness. And I think the new mini games are really fun, especially the one where we get to make like mm -hmm. a little movie. Yes. <laughs> Well, I am just so glad that the three of us have been able to do this special program together. This has been so oh, much fun. Too. Really fun, And yeah. that's all we have for the version 4.3 special program. I hope that everyone's looking forward to experiencing all this exciting new content for themselves. Be sure to check it out when the update goes live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. All right, bye. bye. Guys. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bueno, chicos, por aquí termina el programa. Ah, este es otro, abusado. Se me había olvidado. Aguzado, que este puede ser proverbio del skin de Shongli, eh. Aguzado, eh. Si bien es algo de una tienda de no sé qué cosa. Aguzado que por ahí nos pueden colar la skin, eh. Aguzado, eh. Venga, chicos. Espero os haya gustado eh, el, el streaming. En el cuanto al video. Eh, me, yo, los, los que están aquí conmigo en línea se quedan, ¿vale? No nos vamos. El video aquí termina, chicos. Espero os haya gustado. Yo soy Firme Despido. No sé antes de decirles, salen a su princesa. Marlene. Echenle muchas ganas a su estudio Dice. y a todo lo que quieran la vida. Y no dejen que no. nadie les diga que no pueden conseguir lo que quieren. Un fuerte abrazo. Un Marlene. besote. Y tampoco no Dice. se les olvide suscribirse para el sorteo, el chicos. Cara Venga. Con ojo espiando. Sí, el streaming, el streaming. El, no el streaming, el, el video, sí. Venga, chicos. Hasta la próxima. No se les olvide participar en el sorteo. Dice.